Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, dislike, unsubscribe, watch me from a fake account, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you to do, I support you in that. Needless to say, we're going to go ahead and get into this message. I pray that you set with your higher self above all else, okay? So that you know what messages are for you and what's not for you. I beg you, please leave that for somebody else to take. 544 on my clock. Changes are coming, okay? Changes are here. Somebody has the victory <laughs> over the enemy. The enemy is being forced to walk away. Um, I call upon my higher self. I call upon my spirit guides, my spirit team, the most high to loose angels around me and to war with anything that's trying to attack me and the divine collective. Okay. I'm getting psychic attacks, psychic attacks and illusions. All right. That's what I'm getting. You could be a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, and or Cancer. You don't necessarily have to be. Whoever is attacking you, they're very paranoid. <laughs> this is what they're projecting onto you. Okay, Somebody doesn't want a cycle to be closed out. You could have gone through a lot to get to your high priestess status. You could have had a lot of gang stalking, a lot of enemies um, on your birth path. The Most High is saying this was divinely orchestrated to be this way, okay? So, yeah, I told you, I can see it very clearly. Illusions. All right, the illusionist, the magician in reverse is under the illusion that their illusions are going to work. Somebody wants you to keep having to go through a cycle, but it's an illusion. It's not real, does that make any sense? It's almost like being underwater, opening your eyes, and then things look a little blurry. It's an illusion. It's not real, right? Right. It's not real. Okay. A lot of projection. Archangel Michael, please put a shield of protection around me and the divine collective. All evil eyes on my platform and all divine beings platforms shall go blind. These people don't like your strength. Yeah, you're too vibrant, you're too loving, you're just doing your thing. Listen, I always say, warning, 911, when the sword of truth comes out first, spirit wants you to have a seat, a spiritual seat, because spiritual court is now in mother freaking session. Let's be clear. Let's be abundantly clear. Let's be crystal clear. Whoever you are, divine collective, Whoever you are, you're shining too bright. You're unapologetic. You're looking absolutely incredible. There's a lot of psychic attacks and or projections. These people do not like your strength. They don't like the fact that you don't look like what you've been through, Spirit says. Okay? They don't like the fact that you're exposing them for what they've done to you and other people. These people are under serious judgment. Okay. Yeah. They're under serious judgment. You're in your queen of pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn energy. You're getting the bag. And these people want to hold you back. They want to hold your pentacle back. They want to hold you back from getting the dinero. The feria. The money. The cheese, the mozzarella. Yes, my friend. These people are heartbroken because you've severed ties with them. You could be seeing shadows. These people are trying to open up a portal. They want you to be under the illusion that a cycle is starting all over again, right? It's like a rerun. You are the high priestess. I feel as though you're being entertained by their shenanigans. Okay, they could be watching it from fake accounts on all platforms, TikTok, Facebook, 
you have a new beginning. Okay, these people know that the Most High has intervened on your behalf. These people are working in groups to take you down. You're coming up as very, very happy. You're coming up as joy, joy, happy, happy, love, love. And this light that you're radiating really is illuminating their demons. However, spiritual court is now in session. Somebody could be of royal Egyptian bloodline. There's something special about your eyes. Your eyes, okay? That's for somebody in particular. Archangel Michael, please show me these gang stalkers, these people, these groups, these covens, these uh, spiritual practitioners. Yeah. Here's the thing. These people have paid a lot of money, tens of thousands of dollars to take you out. Tens of thousands of dollars. I mean, I see people every payday saying, I'm giving up my whole check. I want this person to go away, right? And two, because they're under attack from whatever deities that they've conjured up that are going back to them, they now are desperate. They're bound to the practitioner, okay, for money. This also represents your spiritual gifts, okay? There's always a duality, right? This represents your spiritual gifts. These people could be coming in as friends. Uh, they could be, you know, like I said, they're following you under secret accounts. You could be on YouTube. You could have a platform. Okay. Yeah. These people are in heavy regret. Because the angels of the Lord are chasing them out of town day and night, night and day. They're angry. They're bitter. And they're unhealed. This is them. They refuse to heal. They refuse to move on with their lives. Instead, they watch you obsessively and compulsively only to watch the clock not stop. Time is always on as far as they know. Okay? Needless to say, this is them. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. I'm not biased in my opinion when it comes to channeling this energy. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me. And if you try, you will die. Okay? That's what Spirit said. I'm just being honest. Y'all know I want to be a rapper, right? <laughs> I think I'm going to put out a rap video at some point just on some random like a tarot rap video <laughs> i'm gonna put out a rap video it's gonna be incredible listen listen spirit says these people love to hate you they wish they could come back in and celebrate with you they wish they could be friends with you they absolutely cannot okay <laughs> listen show me these wicked ass people yeah listen didn't i just tell you they don't like me they don't like you they don't like the divine collective okay these people are very sneaky and deceptive they're behind secret accounts they're commenting in the comments they're not real commentators they're not real ob observers observers <laughs> sorry yeah they're fake they're phony they're exposed they're angry they're drinking, they're drugging, they're doing everything, and they're getting drugged and dragged to and fro by spirit. Gabriel has blown the horn, and these people don't get it. They don't understand what this is about. They're angry because your intuition is on fleek, as the young people say, right? You're keeping it 100. You're exposing their demons, okay? Needless to say... The beautiful part about all of this is because, you know, the Most High always got a plan. As they attack you, they're thrusting you into another spiritual ascension. Just when they thought that your gifts would not get any more powerful, you're like becoming this master of self. I just heard ascended master. Show me more. Show me these people. Yeah. Listen. These people think or thought that they were smarter than you. This person's an asshole. This person's like, mm, nobody took her down before now. Nobody took him down before now. I'm going to attack her, her kids, the lover, the house, the dog, the cat. Listen, this person is wasting their time, money, and resources. Somebody keeps sacrificing goats. Leave the damn goats alone. 
Leave them alone. What are you doing? Some people pray to God, the most high, and some people want to be the most high. This is where they've fallen short. This is where they've blasphemed the most high. Very powerful as practitioners too, okay? You've closed out a cycle. They don't want the cycle to be closed. They're not that creative. They're sending the same illusions, confusions. Like I said, they want to hold you back. They could have done money spells. Somebody did something to stop your finances. Somebody did something to stop your finances. Some type of a money hex or spell or something like that. Mm, here's the interesting part about that. Just when they did it, it went back and returned and you could have gotten a lump sum of money. Something that was delayed for a while. Delayed does not mean denial. Spirit says you're the star. What are you doing? They look really stupid. Like, I am I just heard a horn outside my door. Confirmation. These people are really like, they're not powerful at all. You're the star, Collective. You're the star. The illusionist can't create any more illusions. You've completed those cycles. I hear somebody saying, how does she do that? How does he do that? Like something that this person is really good at. Okay, this person's put people in mental hospitals, you know, is really good at suicide spells, you know, just all kinds of weird, dark, whatever, you know, abuse of power, okay? He should have come up like this. I think on the surface, he looks like this, like a really nice guy, heavy on the masculine guy energy, Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini don't necessarily have to be, but this is the energy that he's embodying. He comes up very sophisticated, 555 on my clock. <laughs> Every time I look at my clock, I'm like, oh my God, 555 on the clock lets me know that change is coming. What changes are coming, spirit? Show us what changes are coming for the Divine Collective, okay? Yeah, listen, your past investments are paying off. Spirit is saying, keep going. You've walked through hell. You know every demon by name. You're carrying buckets of holy water, and you're looking absolutely incredible doing it. Collective. Shout out to the person that likes the way I say Archangel Michael. I saw your comment. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. I chuckled quite a bit about that comment. Archangel Michael. I never really listened to, you know, how I sound. I don't know. I, I can't really, uh, I don't know. But that was funny. Needless to say, that was a small impromptu commercial break. You are the star. You have a new beginning, the helping hand of the most high. Here's what these people fail to realize. Okay. As much as they've been in time out by spirit, you know, when the helping hand of the most high is there, there's really nothing that you can do. Your magic, your illusions, your witchcraft, your whatever the hell you got going on that you're trying to take this divine being down from shining, from looking good. I mean, out here really looking incredible, you know, um, you're going up against the most high. Do you guys understand that? Okay. This is for the cross watchers. This is for the gang stalkers. This is for the fake accounts. If you're under my channel for a fake, as a fake account, or for a fake account, I almost said. Needless to say, um, when you do that, you have to understand you're going up against truth. It's not this person that you're attacking. You're attacking the divinity in them. That's what you're attacking. So understand that. They want to take you out, Divine Collective, but they're really going up against God. Have you ever met anybody that was dumb enough to go up against God? You have to really be gone, like not present. You're just literally a vessel that is not validating its existence. You can't be. I'm getting co-workers. That's what Spirit just said. A group of co-workers. Yeah. Anyway, four sorts is here. Okay. These people are sick. Swords is mental. You could be seeing 444. Four, four. Spirit says something's about to give. 555, five, five, which we just saw. 777, seven, seven, seven of Swords, 7 of Pentacles. 1010, 10, 10 of Wands, 333, three, Ascendant Masters. Yeah, listen. These people are really concerned about you exposing them, Empress. I can't make this stuff up. Mayat is still in her spot. 
she's been ordained to go into these dark places and call judgment because what happens is they hide. They believe that they're cloaked. They're not. They're not. Cloaked from who? The truth? The way and the light? The Messiah? Who are you cloaking yourself from? The most high that created all things? Listen, I'm just a warner. I'm warning. This is a warning. Ooh, Spirit says this is a warning. Ooh. What do we need to see, Archangel Michael, about these people? Archangel Raphael, please come and do some healing work. Listen. <laughs> they're fighting for their lives but they won't stop with their dark energy and their psychic attacks and their projections it's in a very insane energy i know collective it's very insane it's crazy five of swords they're fighting one another they're fighting with themselves. They're fighting the most high. They're fighting the universe. They don't want you to have your new beginning. Who the hell are you fighting with? It seems to me that they're the ones under the illusions that they projected on you. It's a very return to sender type of an energy. Why? Because you're the high priestess. Oh, 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 oh. And you will continue to be the high priestess. You're ordained. You're like a spiritual gangster. You're the spiritual lawyer in court exposing things for what needs to be exposed so that the Most High can call judgment on these wicked little bastards. How are they fighting for their own lives and finding time to project that negative energy onto you when you're not even getting touched? It's bouncing off of you for it says, I will not be afraid of arrows by day or by night. Right? Okay. They could be flipping cards on you. They could be doing divination to see if it's working. Right? They could be doing all kinds of things to see if what they're sending you is working. But then when they pull the cards for themselves, this is what they see for themselves. It's a beautiful plan. It's a beautiful, beautiful plan. The way the Most High is using these people to take themselves out. I keep hearing somebody say, how do they do that? They're trying to figure out how you're able to manipulate the energy as they have, but return it to them. I heard the high priestess say, that's fine. Keep your same energy. Yeah. This high priestess is, listen, been guided by spirit. You could have moved. You could be moving. Yes. These people are saying, I'll find you wherever you go. You know, here's what's interesting. <laughs> to have an existence on this planet like this for all of your life because you just want to win at all costs and you know that you're burning in hell currently, that mentally you're in a hell is so disgusting. I don't even know what you're chosen to do. This could be their destiny. This could be their life path. You know, Spirit just says people are running to church. Yeah, this represents arrows by day, arrows by night. Communication, psychic attacks. It is an illusion, okay? These people are mirroring one another. They're angry, they're fighting. They're upset that their secrets are being exposed on all divine platforms. Yes, this fell right on top of the Four of Swords, okay? This for me is a coffin in this particular spread. The Ten of Swords represents everything is fine, everything's not fine. These people are not okay. Spirit says they want to take you with them. It's a hell to the gnaw for the Most High though. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. I'm just the messenger. These people really want to stop your money. Spirit said it's a no. Somebody did a money ritual, something with blood, a rooster over your picture. Somebody put you in a jar. Some people, this is what I see, y'all. And here's the thing. They're really upset that this is being exposed. It's not just me. I'm not the only one out here telling the truth. There's a whole, listen, 
There's a whole truth gang, gang, gang that's tapped into the same energy. Spirit says the bowels are about to break. Yeah, literally the bowels are about to break. Somebody could have issues with their bowels, one of these people, just from doing too much witchcraft. That's where the solar plex is. They wanted your creativity. Ten of swords is ultimate betrayal. Everything is not fine, the Most High says. Yeah, they want to stop your money, but you have good news about some more money coming. You could you could just be getting money from all kinds of places, right? Yeah. Oh, why? Because you're the star. That just fell out. I didn't even shuffle the cards. I love it when spirit does its thing. I love it when spirit is present. I love the most high. I love when the most high tests us to the capacity that we're being tested. Why? Because if you don't go through anything like this collective, you're going to pass out at the first demonic force you see. Now you're embodying the star-like, Christ-like energy. Remember when Jesus Christ would walk through the town and the demonic forces would be like, huh, what do you want? Why are you here? Did you come to torment us before our time? Why? Because they know that they only have a certain amount of time to do whatever it is that they're doing and they're trying to go out with the bang. They know their destiny. They know that hell is real. Maybe they didn't believe it before, but they know that hell is real. People are in cars driving away. I don't know where the hell they're going, okay? But these people are walking away from this shit show. They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed that what they've done is being illuminated and exposed in, the, in a public way. Not just by me, but by way of a lot of divine beings that are on their path. This is us on our platforms. This is us. Okay, the divine collective as a whole is going through a very serious awakening. Yep. Oh, yeah. They're sending lots of energy. Let me just tell you, somebody wants to open a portal. Okay, I'm getting Ogun energy. Somebody wants to keep a portal open. They want to keep an eye on you, I heard. Okay. Every time they try to scry, they cry because they're seeing their own fate. They're seeing coffins. They're seeing, they're seeing destruction. They're seeing destruction. You know, it's almost like you go to a tarot card reader and you're like, what's going on with her? What's going on with him? I need to know what's happening, right? They could be attacking people on the platforms as well so that you believe that it's the person that's attacking you that's, that has the platform. This is an illusion. Don't believe it. They're attacking people on the, the followers on the platform to not follow you. These people are desperate because if you listen to certain uh, readers who are telling the truth, you could very well set yourself free. And this is what they don't want. Remember that. Okay. The truth cuts like a sword. Hence the fact that the Ace of Swords came out first. Okay. This is what they see every time they look into your life. Wish fulfillment. The most high is like, look, this person's loving, caring, kind. They're not even thinking about you. They don't even remember you. The most high says, I cleared this person's consciousness. This is family members, exes, all kinds of people. There's an ex out here that's a warlock that is, is literally hanging on to you like crazy. Spirit says they're hanging on to you, but they're hanging by a thread. They're holding on to life. They're trying their best to fight. At the same time, the little bit of energy that they do have, they're finding it, finding, uh, you know, enough to muster up. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. This is you divinely spiritually protected. Okay. This person's holding on to life. The little bit of energy that they do have, they're giving it to you. How foolish. It doesn't make any sense. This person says, I'll, I'll fight you until the death. Well, it'll be the death of you over your dead body. Somebody said, over my dead body. Spirit says, so shall it be. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Because this is you, Divine Collective. I just always like to give a quick recap in the middle of the reading. So that you're reminded that you're on a divine path and do not give up. 
Yeah, they're attacking some of the commentators on the platforms. So you're going to notice that a lot of the um, content creators are turning off their comments so that they're so the people that are commenting don't get attacked. Right. Because we know that you all are here for the truth. Again, this is why I always say. Come in with the spirit of discernment so that you can discern what's a real comment, what's a not a real comment. You got some people commenting on other people's comments. Be very mindful energetically if it feels off. OK, you have to discern for yourself. This is them. Black magic. I can't make it up. OK, this is them. It's a shit. It's a real shit show. Okay, they're turning against each other. Remember, I said, what are they? What are they going through? Listen, they're fighting each other now with black magic. They're fighting you and fighting each other as they're dying, crying, and scrying because every time they scry, they see their own fate. They see death and destruction. They see ter ter turmoil, torment. This is heavy black magic that they're doing on your platform. This is them working in groups, but the groups are now splitting up. They're fighting one another. They're not collaborating. They're working against one another. At the same time, they're trying to shut you up because you're out here telling the truth. These people want your gifts, okay? They want your gifts. They're weighed down because you're the star and you survived every death trap that they set for you, okay? I'm gonna do a part two on this. I'm just gonna cut this reading short so I can get it out to you all really quickly. Let me just get some messages from our divine ancestors. Yeah, somebody's doing a money spell, but that's going to backfire. I want to know the outcome of that because somebody did a money spell. Show me the outcome for this poverty spell that these people did. Yeah, they did it on your love life too. They want you to be left out in the cold. This fell right on top of the star. And this is because you could have come into union with your soulmate or you will be. Okay. So when they did a money spell, they wanted you two to be in poverty so that you could struggle. Spirit is saying they did it to you and your lover both. It could not have been planned more perfectly because you're divinely protected. Yeah, this is what they're hiding. So something could be coming up under the full moon. I heard that it's going to backfire the moment they start their ritual. This is really a warning for them. It's really a warning for them. I don't even think they're ready for the escapades of hell and the caverns that they've not seen. Spirit says, meanwhile, you have the helping hand of the most high. Your cup overfloweth. So whatever they tried to do to your money, maybe it slowed down just a little bit energetically. You could have felt like you were just a little drained. Spirit says, it's a no for the most high. You're still going to get your cup of abundance. You're still going to have your love. You're still going to have your wish fulfillment. You know, this is written. These people want to be God. They want to be the most high. Yeah. I heard purgatory. Wow. Okay. I said I was about to pull another card, but I just feel like I need to see something else. Yeah. I told you. They did it to you and your divine partner. Twin flame. But the two of you are a force to be reckoned with. One, because you're divinely protected. A lot of this stuff is just bouncing off of your life. It's almost like a pop quiz, you know? You've been here before. You kind of know when there's illusions. You kind of can feel when somebody is, you know, trying to tap in. You've gotten very, very intuitive. The more they do it, the more they give over their power. So now they're drained and now they're tired and now they've channeled all this energy that they gave up freely. Why? They have free will. And you're just as vibrant and you're just bouncing around and looking good. Hair's all shiny and bouncy and, you know, you got your lips all glossed up and your teeth are white and your skin is pretty. They're tired. These people have bags under their eyes. They're tired. They're spending a lot of time. They're bound to the, these demonic forces. This is what, this is what, you know, they don't want you to know. They're bound to these forces. They have to do this. They can't stop. Some of them have completely turned against God. Wow. That's crazy. I can't even imagine it. I don't want to imagine that. You know what I mean? I don't. I just felt like I intuitively needed to pull something else. What's going to happen? What's the outcome? 
Spirit is like, don't worry about it. Spiritual court is now in session. Spiritual court is now in session. Spirit says you're with your soul tribe. You're going the right way. Don't worry about your money. That's going to get better. You're sailing to calmer waters. Okay. Meanwhile, these people are like this. They don't know which way to go. They're bound to the devil. They're blinded. Do you see this person blinded? This is why they keep doing this. This is why now they're going against each other because they're dying for their salvation. There is no more salvation because not only are they are they dying, they just keep stacking up more and more and more and more and more karma. The deities are weak. They're weak. They're bound to these spirits. They're bound to darkness, I heard spirits say. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you're just glowing and, and loving and loving on everybody and just out here shining as the star. Some of you are moving in silence. Some of you don't even comment on the comments because you already know. You're moving in silence. You have a new beginning. This is why they're mad. They were paid a lot of money, but now they're going broke. The practitioner is going broke. How the hell you charge somebody $5,000 for a goat? Price gouging. <laughs> Abuse of power. The gavel in court is, it, it, listen, the gavel in court can't come down hard enough. You could be a water sign. You don't have to be, but collective, you're coming up is very emotionally connected to the most high. And you're moving forward. It's nothing else to say about that. Well, they're going to try to stop. Everything that you got going on, Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, Spirit Guides, Divine Ancestors, what, is the, what does the collective need to hear? What do they need to know? Spirit says, fleeting and imagine. Yeah, you're going to leave wherever you are. Wherever you're living, you're being guided to move away. I just moved away really, really far, far, far. <laughs> I'm off the grid, right? I barely get Wi-Fi where I am. <laughs> and I love it. Okay. Fleeting. Fleeting. Yeah. Let's see what that means. Okay. The number eight, you could be seeing 888. Imagine. Okay. First one says imagine. Okay. So this is about your imagining faculty. Why? Because they're painting illusions. They want you to think that these cycles will never end. They want you to think you're dying. They want you to think you're you're being spiritually attacked. It's all projection and an illusion. These are psychic attacks. Somebody needs to cover their head at night in white, okay? Yeah, it's an illusion. They're sending, it's like projection, you know? You know what a project, projector looks like, right? Yeah, there's birds outside of my window singing. This is a victory. Fleeting, fleeting. Fleeting is you can't take it with you. We would give a kingdom for one more day if you are feeling hollow and unsatisfied with what you've accomplished so far it may be because you're not for focusing your energy on things that really matter i told you focus energy image imagine your imagining faculties shift your mind so that you can start to see all this goodness that the most high is giving you you're not dying you are however going through an ascension a lot of nervous post-traumatic energy is what i feel that these people are projecting. Find what truly makes you happy, collective. Spend your time on the earth wisely. Do something that makes you smile today. Helping others helps you as well. Realign, moderation, and reassess. Okay? You got some wicked bastard-ass family members, too, that are also doing this to you. Spirit says your bloodline is being cleared out. They won't be around for long. They sealed their fate. I mean, at this point, I don't even think there's room to repent or anything else because there's just too much karma that's racked up. Their whole establishment has been dismantled. Excuse me. They're all working together independently, but they're blind. They're doing it blindly. They can't even see what the hell's going on. They're just stabbing in the dark, hoping that they hit something. When in reality, they're stabbing themselves. This is a coffin. This is a coffin. Somebody's praying for a favorable judgment from the most high, but they don't want to be accountable for the energy that they've projected so long. Yeah, these people are sneaky and deceptive. You could be getting random phone calls from what appears to be telemarketers 
and then the lines go dead. This is these people calling from fake phone numbers. Okay. Needless to say, this is the message. I will be doing a part two to this message because I really want to pull all of this information into spiritual court so that justice is served. Okay. I know my purpose. I hope you do too. Imagine something great. Don't put your mind on this too much. Don't give the devil any glory. These people are really trying to figure out which way they can go. Now they're being held back. Now their money's being held up. Okay? They don't know that the Most High has already revealed to you what's going to happen. Okay? It's going to be a bloodbath. Not for us, but for them. So I love you wherever you are on this planet. I promise to the Most High Heavens that I do. Until the next video, peace be with you.